We're out here with the 72, and we need to fix the thing that I hate the most about this car. And no, it's not the different color front end or the rusty parts. The thing I hate the most is these nails that stick out the side from where the trim used to be. These things are destroying so many pairs of my pants. Every time I walk past this car or get in and out of it, one of these deals snags onto my pants and tears a hole in it or whatever and they look like crap. So these things have to come off of here. They, got, they gotta go, they gotta go. But I also don't wanna just take them off and weld them shut or whatever and have a bunch of holes in the side of the car. So I have a plan to remove these bad boys but still have this thing looking like this thing, you know? Because we've replaced so many panels and like parts of this car, Really, the only area of this car that has to have all these nails removed on is gonna be the driver's side quarter, the driver's side door, and passenger quarter. So at least we don't have seven million of them, the fenders are gone. If you're not familiar, all these nails are from that trim that sticks on the side of these things. Holds much crap behind it. They always rust out. You can see like the door here is trying to start to do that. This door did do that. This is the passenger side door. And this thing just killed itself because of that trim. And then as soon as these guys rotted, the bottom of the door did the, the thing, you know. So I'm using some of the metal from this door to steal some good sections to fix other parts of the car. I don't know if you remember, but this door had a big air conditioning vent hole in the bottom here. So we robbed a section of that door to fix this door. Gotta work with what you got when you don't have any monies to fix it. Let me tell you the game plan. Bam! Gonna use the old Dremel here and some of these little tiny cutoff wheels. What I wanna do here is cut these bad boys, but I wanna stay as close to the body as I possibly can without cutting into the body. You know, the quarter panel here. Good old quarter panel. I don't know if I'm gonna weld these holes shut. We're gonna see when we start cutting them what they do or whatever, but obviously on the door here, we're gonna have to weld this guy and this guy. And then like I was saying, I got a plan for what we're gonna do once we get all these guys off. And I think you're gonna like it. All right, well, we got all these things ground out. As you can see, there's still like a little bit of stuff. I think we're gonna hit with this little flap disc deal. Get it nice and smooth where we made all of our cuts. And we're also gonna have to grind, you know, some of the paint off here. Some of the paint off here so we can fill in these old holes. I also totally forgot that there's a big old spot back here on both sides of the quarter panel that we're gonna have to grind to, you know, fill with some weld in there. If you look real close, there's, you know, the ring of where that nail thing goes through the door. The right thing to do would probably be to get these guys out and weld these shut and put some filler and, you know, the whole nine. I grind them flush and hopefully they don't fall out. Guess time will tell. I don't really care that much if they do because this car is far from perfect anyway. Basically, I'm gonna continue with my plan just like this. I was gonna slap a little bit of filler over top of them to Smooth them out real nice. I don't know when the last time you've been to the auto parts store to buy some body filler was, but it's getting expensive. So it's just not in our budget to waste any more filler on this thing. You know I had to put some on here. So there's just none left for here. Hopefully we don't set the car on fire. Catch the inside of the door panel. Let her really go up in a blink. None of these look beautiful, but as long as when you uh, grind them, there's not any, you know, holes and dirt and porosity and everything in it, who cares? All 
All right, and the last thing I want to get done for this morning is I just want to uh, blast all these spots here with a little bit of rust inhibitor or primer or stuff just so that, you know, when we do what we're going to do, I'm not telling you what we're going to do, but when we do it, uh, we don't have to worry about what's going on behind it. So uh, I'm going to hit these little spots real quick and let it rip. Next morning here, our little paint touch-ups here are dry. So now it's time to reveal what my plan is to cover up on all this. I've actually had this in mind for a while. What I've decided we're gonna do is use the whole Yanko stripe. Kind of make this thing look like a junkyard Yanko that been pieced together with miscellaneous garbage. The decal's probably gonna be way, way, way too clean and shiny and white for the car but ultimately if it just doesn't look right what i'm gonna do is we'll use the decal uh more or less as a stencil to tape off and mask off the yanko stripe and we'll paint it because at least with the paint i can get it to look like way older and kind of match the jankiness of the car versus the vinyl that i just don't think i'm going to be able to get it to look the way that I want it to. But nonetheless, we still gotta go through all the work of getting it on there and lined up and straight. My wife's gonna come down and help me and we're gonna, we're gonna get the stripe on. So let's do it. <laughs> All right, so next day here, just got home from work. Losing daylight super fast. We're gonna go ahead and get some soap and water and some light Brillo pad action. Kinda massage on the new stripes. Help give it that patina look. Then we should have that thing looking just how I want. gonna do it for this video make sure you drop something down in the comments let me know what you think about you know the yanko stripe idea to cover up all them holes i personally think that it was uh you know kind of a clever idea and you know with the the vibe that that this car is given i think i think we gotta call it the uh I think we gotta call it the Janko now, you know? You, you've heard me say it before, I call everything Janky. Yanko, Janko, it's a ratty 72 Nova. They made Yanko Novas. Let me know what you think. You like the stripe? You like the name? Is the name dumb? Is the stripe dumb? I don't know. Let me know what you're thinking. 
But uh, like I said, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you guys like. If you haven't subscribed already, just do it. Click the, click the subscribe button, because there's more coming. We've got a whole bunch of great stuff coming for you guys over the winter here. So thanks, and we'll see you next time.